The government has adopted a proposed law on interest rates which could strip banks of an additional 70 million kuna in interest rate revenue. The Croatian Bank Association is warning that the move may further stifle the already non-existent economic growth. The law envisages, among other things, the limiting of the contractual default interest, which has so far been higher than the new law stipulates. Speaking at today's government session, Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic urged for an investigation into who had been responsible for amassing of all debt until the year 2012, including tax debt. He called on the Finance, Justice and Interior Ministers to gather and sit through the documents on unpaid debts. Finance Minister Slav Kolinic has signed an agreement with the World Bank for a loan valued at 150 million euro and a marked for the development of a policy of sustainable economic recovery. The aim of the loan is to support the government in consolidating public finances as well as in improving the investment climate and reducing state involvement in the corporate sector. Speaking to Croatian Radio, Education Minister Željko Jovanović has stated that he was pleased with the announcements of the Croatian Teachers Union's readiness to sign the sector collective agreement. A referendum on the issue was held yesterday. Jovanović believes that this may pave the way for a fresh round of negotiations with the secondary school education union, but the higher education unions are still not on board as their leader Vilim Ribic has put a stop to all negotiations. According to media reports, the social policy and youth minister Milanka Opacic's advisor Damir Cimer is the owner of a cleaning company and is at the same time advising Opacic on the outsourcing of certain jobs in the public sector, including cleaning jobs to private companies, like his own. Unionist Ozren Matiashevich has commented on the situation by saying that people who have not been properly vetted should not be working for the government in any capacity and particularly not as advisers to a minister who is proposing outsourcing. According to unofficial sources, the Uskok Anti-Corruption Agency has accepted a criminal complaint the police have filed against tax administration head Nada Chavalovic Smiljanic and expanded its investigation to include her and the owner of the Osijek-based company OLT Željko Bilos in a case in which distraint proceedings against that company were discontinued. A former head of the tax administration office in Osijek, Ružica Kovacic, has been under investigation on suspicion of having prevented, at Chavlovich Smiljanic's request, the collection of OLT's tax debt. And in sports, Croatian tennis player Ivan Dodig has been knocked out in the first round of the Munich ATP tournament. Dodig lost to Brazilian Tomasz Belucci 7-6-6-4. Dodig was the eighth seed and was beaten by the world's 122nd player, while he currently stands in 36th place. And now for the weather for the rest of the day. Partly sunny with changeable cloud. Thunderstorms possible inland and in the northern Adriatic, although there also may be some wetness along the Dalmatian coast. Winds mostly light, southwesterly and westerly along the Adriatic, northwesterly towards the western coast of Istria. Highs are between 17 and 22 degrees.